On today's show, we're heading to the driveway and that can only mean one thing. That means it's install time. And Kelly, what do we got going on here? Today we are installing the Mountains to Metal tailgate medicine cabinet. That's right. And uh, let's do this right now. that we're gonna use for this project. Of course, we couldn't start out without our Mountains to Metal sticker that's gonna go on our beautiful truck once this project is done. Definitely go check them out if you haven't already done so. We do have our plastic trim removal tool set. Do highly recommend grabbing this if you don't have one. There is a link in the comments below to Amazon. Grab it. Highly appropriate for lots of projects that we're doing. Um, we do have a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench that we're going to use for this project, a Phillips screwdriver, and a four millimeter hex Allen key. So definitely grab those before you get started. All right, first off, gotta get you little chopsticks here, your little plastic uh, pry bar pieces, and uh, we will try to get in under this cover. And you know what? I have a feeling it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we're gonna just kind of uh, do it our own way, but you can feel these little popping out. And I've had this off before, so this isn't a, it isn't a, something new, but you wanna get, get some good plastic pry pieces for your trim pieces like that. It just makes life a lot simpler and you're not scratching your paint up with using like a, uh, a flathead screwdriver and it gives you access to that. And uh, we really don't need this anymore. So next step is actually, we're gonna be installing the seal that actually goes through the medicine cabinet and your pretty little Bronco. So this is actually for some noise dampening, but the rattle, all of that to help it seal well. So. You're not driving on the road wondering what that rattle is. But this, this one you have to be really careful with uh, because I know some folks that were not careful with it and it kind of stuck to itself and you kind of lost that. So just be careful as you're doing it. It does have sticky on the other side. So what I'm gonna do when I do this, and this is my first time, but I'm gonna be careful and only take off a little bit of time as we go around it. So let's get this taken care of. All right, so as Kelly's holding this up there, you wanna be very careful. And what I would do even before you peel that, Kelly, I just make sure you line yourself up, you kind of know, you can see they've got pre-cut slots here. Just kind of make sure you know exactly where, what your, uh, you know, it fits it properly. And Kelly, if you'll peel it a little bit, I'll actually hold some of this for you. And I would recommend just two people helping out with this if you've never done anything like this before. It just helps, you know, you don't want a, a wild, a wild, like you said earlier, a wild <laughs> stickiness going and uh, then you're kind of screwed. So just take your time. Remember, nobody here is professionals, so we just uh, want to line it up best we can. Nobody's trying to win the race. That's right. Make sure it just fastens down real well. And Kelly, you once you get that part, I would up here it's starting to peel, so you can line yourself up there. Yeah, maybe work your way down. Once again, we've not done this before, so I don't. I'm feel just lining up all the notches that they created for you on this, so right. that way you're just really kind of lining up where you <clears> want to be. Right. And I know uh, Mountains of Metal, they're always refining the process. They had a different, their initial, when we saw this at Supercell, they had a, like a little bit thinner material they were trying to use and it was ripping real easy. So they went back to the drawing board and uh, put a new gasket in here. And I think the, from what I can tell, it looks like they've done a really good job here with this. Is it stressful, Kelly? It is a little stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I know that it's sticky and once that sticky is there, it is going to hold. So it is definitely a little stressful, but not too bad. Literally just go around, line up your holes as you go. You can always push everything down once you feel like you're in the right place. So don't feel like you have to rush this one. Yeah, and it feels like you were able to pull it off just a little bit mm -hmm. and until probably the cabinet sticks to it and really seals it in, you probably got a little bit of play there. Mm -hmm. All right, so part of this comes pre put together, this little bracket right here that we're gonna, there, as you can see, there's some little uh, Allen keys there that we're gonna take off and uh, go from there. And I think this is installed over on the other side. So uh, right here, Kelly, you can see there are Allens. There's a four millimeter. So as always, you try to find every piece of tool that you got and you never can find it when you need it. The 
And then that, Voila. Bracket, that bracket comes out and we're gonna use that for the installation over here. Next up, we're gonna attach the bracket that we just removed. Um, now this does have a blank spot down here. Don't freak out. Your gasket is empty as well. There is a screw hole here, but we're not using it for this install. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead and line up. You were provided two of each of these. I do have the other set off to the side so I can kind of hold it, um, but you do actually have all of this ready. And these are they Nylon look to be nuts. yeah they're lock they're lock bolts so they'll they'll just barely get on you're going to need some force with a, a a ratchet to take them all the way down but this is so they don't back out so you want you definitely want these nylon these nylon lock uh, nuts. nuts you see it's just she got it there like I said have patience with this don't be aggravated just one bolt at a time and uh, we'll go from there. All right, next up is Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. We're hoping this long socket fits in there, but we'll see. We'll see. If we have a wrench as a backup. We have, we have many. So, <laughs> but this is what we're going to try. I'll hold it. You twist. Tell you what, we're using a ratchet on this, but I've got something better. I think this little wrench here will do, yeah, do a lot I think you're right on that one. Team effort that I can. <laughs> Try, try filming this and doing this all at the same time. Don't go tight. All right, Kelly, it's time to uh, slide this bad boy in there and see if it fits right. All right, next up. Slide it in the spot. And then you are just going to line up your holes on the side. I always like to go the center one just because that's my preference when I install things. You might have to wiggle it just a little bit. Forget that third one in. Then you just do your final tighten up. Of course, maybe you don't have a, uh, a table in your way. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And that thing is now installed, uh, what was that, like 15 minutes, really? Yeah, in I think so. I mean, in reality, obviously, we're recording, so it took a little right. longer. But right. in real time, about 15 minutes. Yeah. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, looks pretty good. So we have two sets of screws on this side, two on this side, and there's a couple. You can see there's bolts up here for if you maybe want to adjust the shelf. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, you can just slide that shelf right in there, as Kelly's doing. And uh, you can there's screws down there. You lock those down, tighten them down a little bit, and then that thing is not going anywhere. And now you've got room for, you know, whatever. Maybe you've got silverware or something. If you're doing some overlanding you want to throw in there or maybe your spices, whatever for cooking, maybe you throw that in there because you got your nice uh, toughy table over there. So obviously storage, there's there's just not enough places to store things in here. And there is a price to, uh, you know, we'll put the, all the links and stuff down below and you can see the price on their website. But um, I think it's pretty handy to have just mm -hmm. a little bit extra storage. I mean, how can you foresee us using this? Yeah, you know, it's uh, to yet to be seen on what we might use it for. We, oh, like he said, we are always looking for new ways to store things because you just don't want everything flopping around yeah. in the back of your truck. So we'll figure it out. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with it just yet. Ideas right. for you? Nice. Uh, like I said earlier, maybe some, if we're going camping or whatever, we put store of, you know, our spices, whatever, some utility utensils, stuff like that in there, maybe. Um, you know, we're yet to see what we can do with it, but get, you know what? We didn't have anywhere to do anything with that before, That's right? True. It we, was just dead space. It for was us. just dead space, and now it's not dead space. And it, uh, even if it just adds adds you know a couple cubic mm -hmm. inches of space, yeah. <laughs> it's even better than what we had before. So, in the comments below, let us know what you think about this. Have you tried this product? What do you think of it? Good or bad? Let us know in the comments. And I want to say a special thank you to mm -hmm. uh, Mountains to Metal for sending us over to do a review on this product. And if you would like to see more reviews like this, you got to click that like button. You got to leave us a comment and you got to subscribe to the channel because we're on our way to 10,000 subs. We so, are on our way. Whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or this cabinet that I like to open and shut when we drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, 
Yeah, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> this has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, alongside Kelly Boyd, and we are what? We're out. Peace, everybody. See ya.